If you are a B2B lead generation agency owner, or you're thinking about becoming one, this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to cover a crucial fulfillment mistake that causes beginner lead generation agency owners to struggle getting results for their clients or getting clients in the first place. And the reason why this happens is because all of the BS information that these dorks spread around on the internet. If you run a B2B lead generation agency or thinking about running one, you have probably heard someone say that, yeah, you should only work with clients who have like super validated offers and great funnels and banger via sales and really good closing rates and million customers and product market fit and all of these things because then it's easier to get results to them in my experience that is not really the approach that you should be taking let's say that you have here a b2b SaaS company and they have well validated offer they have a clear and defined ideal customer profile they have a bunch of case studies they have proven product market fit they have an amazing sales process and they maybe they already have outbound campaigns working. And some of you might listen on the internet. They tell you that, yeah, these are the only companies you should work with. Because obviously it's super easy to get results to these companies. Because really like the only thing you have to do here, if you are a B2B lead and agency owner and you, for example, do a cold email for your clients, like the only thing you really need to do is you just need to buy some domains, plug their already well-validated offer, target already defined ICP, plug in all of their case studies, and they're going to close a lot. It's going to be extremely easy to get them great results and they're gonna make money from it and a lot of people they hear this or they see someone say this or they just think about this in their head and uh, they start taking sales course they start their legion agents and they come across a lot of these companies that don't have all of these criteria checked out they start disqualifying them like ah, oh, yeah low quality prospect a broken prospect that this and that and like oh they didn't have prior market fit and they just disqualify like 90 percent of the calls that they get and then once in a while they get a prospect that matches this criteria and then they try to close them but they can't close them because they can't provide enough value and the reason for that is when a company has everything like this like figure out really well the only thing they need from a lead transition agency is just a pair of extra hands they already know what scripts to work really the only thing they are buying is your time maybe like three four years ago there was a situation when people would buy lead generation and cold email services just because they didn't have access to the information of how to do cold email and that still happens there's a bunch of niches where that happens but like the most common niches that's not the case like your ability to buy domains and set up a campaign pain on smart leader instantly and scrape a list from Apollo like that's like worth nothing you can watch my YouTube video and learn it in an afternoon the only thing they would be buying is your time pretty much what that means is you're just pretty much a pair of extra hands pretty much means that you can't charge that much what I have seen a lot of success with is pretty much going like against the grain of course there's prospects that you shouldn't work with like sometimes there's just like a SaaS company let's say they have spent three years building a tool they have raised a million dollar funding around and there's like clearly no need for their service obviously you shouldn't work with a company like that in my opinion it's absolute madness as a beginner to try to find this perfect super easy to deliver a client like it just doesn't make sense first of all you're also a beginner you don't have a validated offer you don't have a defined icp you don't have great case studies you don't have a good sales process like how can you demand those things from all of your clients when you don't have them yourself second of all everyone else is doing that so there's like so many companies that don't have everything like perfectly in order that you could just close and the third thing is this obviously if company has everything in check they have already put a lot of effort in validating their offering, defining their ICP and like figuring out exactly who they need to sell them, how to communicate with them. And I've got a lot of case studies. So like the game is way easier for them. They're not struggling as much compared to a company who doesn't have a great offer. They don't know really who they should target. They don't really know how to get outbound working. They don't have a bunch of case studies. Their sales force isn't that great. They are in a completely different situation. A lot of people don't really realize the fact that the more problems you solve and the bigger problems you solve, the more money you always make. So if there's no problems to solve, the money you make isn't that great. So if you're able to find a company that you see potential in and they have a lot of problems and you're able to help them solve those problems, you're able to make crazy money. If you want to have clients that pay you five, eight, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month, like you need to solve a lot of problems. So you can't try to go out there and find these perfect clients and quote them 5k a month because why would they pay you 5,000 a month when they have already done all of the work? They have figured out the offer, they have figured out the niche, they have figured out the outbound. What are you getting paid 5k a month for your time isn't worth that much as a beginner my most profitable clients always have been companies that don't have a 
perfect offer. They don't know their most profitable niche. They have never done outbound and they have a bunch of problems. These have been the clients that have paid always me the most amount of money. And the reason for this is, yeah, I just can't go out there and launch one cold email campaign and immediately gonna fill their calendar and just print like crazy amount of calls. You can't do that. But if you are able to solve these problems for these companies, the impact is gonna be so much bigger. You're not just gonna be working as an extra set of hands. You're not just a cold email VA for them. You're actually someone who is helping them solve foundational core issues in their business. This is the reason why I'm able to charge $30,000 to write a sales letter because it fixes a lot of these issues. It's just a Google document, but it fixes like so painful issues. Yeah, it's gonna take you so much more work. But if you're able to figure out what they should be specifically selling, who should they specifically be selling to, how to communicate with them and get like outbound working really well, like that's a completely transformational situation for the business. You completely transform the whole company around. And that's what gets you paid big dollars. That's how you can get paid 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month. A lot of these things are like super simple. Like a lot of people overcomplicate these things. They're like, okay, like for example, let's say that there's a company and let's say that their case is that they are marketing technology company. They are a early stage marketing technology company. They have some kind of a SaaS product or technology product in the marketing sub niche. And they have some paying customers. Let's say they have 30 paying customers. They are early stage. They don't really know what their offer should be. They don't really know their like most valuable USPs. Like they don't know really like why people buy their stuff. They don't really know who they should be selling to. And they have not run out, but I've just done referrals. A lot of people look at this and they're like, ah, you should never work with a client like this because it's going to be so hard to get results and blah, 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 blah. You, you know, that's like what a lot of people say. But if you really look at it logically, there's like three main problems here. You don't know who you should be selling to. You don't know what you should be selling them. And they have never run out bunch. So there's no working out bank campaigns. Okay. How do we solve these issues? They have some paying customers. So, okay, let's say they have 30 paying customers. Look at these 30 paying customers and just pinpoint what is like the majority of these 30 customers. If like 10 customers or 15 customers are dental clinics in the US, and then like five customers are like construction companies and seven customers are like massage studios and three customers are like lawyers. You can see that, okay, half of their customers are dental clinics in the US. So maybe we should target dental clinics because without outbound, they have organically attracted more dental clinics than anything else. So naturally you would think that, okay, maybe dental clinics need this. And okay, if 15 dental clinics have bought this service, there is clearly an issue that their technology is solving for these dental clinics. How do we figure that out? Because if we are able to figure that out, like selling to other dental clinics is going to be super easy because we can just go to other dental clinics and say, hey, we solved this problem for dental clinics. Do you want to buy it? And probably someone wants to buy it because 15 have already done it. So, okay, what do you do? You call the 15 dental clinics. Hey, you have been using this tool for XYZ amount of times. Can I ask why in the first place you bought this tool or this technology? What was your situation before you started using it? What was your problem? Were you able to solve this problem with this tool? And what is your situation right now? And you are also able to in those calls are just able to gather results and case studies. Okay, were you able to solve this problem? Oh, you were. How did that affect your business? Or oh, you were able to get more leads. Amazing. How many more leads? 50 new appointments in the last 60 days. Amazing. How much money is that worth to your business? Oh, $10,000. Amazing. Boom. That's your case study. And then getting outbound working isn't hard. Then it's just like tweaking the niceness and iterating like small things like lead source, etc. You just target dental things that you figured out here. And then you write them an email saying that, hey, we have helped XYZ dental clinics fix this problem so they're able to get this result and we have gotten these results for our customers. Do you want me to send a bit more information about this? Like that's it. Of course, it's way easier to say it than do it, but like that's really the base of everything. And then instead of setting up a cold email campaign and just like being a pair of extra hands getting paid thousand bucks a month, you actually solved three core problems for this business. And that's what gets you paid because now the business has like a clear North Star. They're able to change everything in their business that niche. They're able to really pinpoint everything for that offer. They're able to change their tool, everything that like gives them an actual direction. And that's why it is worth a lot more money than just being a pair of extra hands. Like what I want you to take away from this video is if you run a B2B lead generation agency, or if you're looking to run one, you're trying to run one, you're thinking about running one, I'm going to start one XYZ next year, blah, 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 just procrastinate like a gig. You don't want to try to steer away from quote unquote hard clients. It's of course so much easier to fulfill for easy clients. You're able to like productize more, like hire a team, like everything's going to be so much easier. But like, this is what in the long run makes you the most money. Let's say you help three marketing technology companies solve like these foundational core issues. All of a sudden, you're not just a cold email VA, you're actually like a super valuable early stage marketing technology growth agent or a lead transition agency who like solves like these foundational issues. And you just become more valuable and you're 
were able to start charging crazy prices for cold email campaigns. I know this one super smart dude who we work with. He's in our program, agentvelocity.io. He charges $30,000 to just do customer interviews. Like he does customer interviews for a month for SaaS companies and charges 30K for that. Just to hop on calls with their already paying customers and ask these questions. Why did you buy this? What were you trying to solve? All of these things. The reason is because he's first of all, super good at it because he's like, has a really great process for it. And second of all, it's so valuable. You don't want to operate by this mindset that I see so much on the internet that there's like this strict set of rules when you're running a certain type of business. Like I get so many people email me and comment on my YouTube videos saying like, hey, does the customer pay the setup fee? Does the customer do this? Do I need to do this? Do I charge for this? Do I have to have this guarantee? Do I need to disqualify prospects have matched the criteria A, B, and Z? Like, bro, it's your business. Like, you can decide. Why are you asking me? Like, there's this set of rules. Like, you decide. There's an extremely well-working framework that works super well, which is doing this. And then you can iterate it. Don't try to steer away from challenge. Don't try to just get easy clients because easy clients are easy for everyone and they don't need that much help and you can't provide that much value and you can't solve that many problems. Everyone else is competing further. Like, it's just dumb. It's just a race to the bottom. So don't try to compete for these easy clients against everyone else. There's no money in doing that. Let's say you had a moving company, but you only work with clients who live on the first floor and are moving to an apartment on the first floor and they only have furniture and boxes that are like lightweight. Like how much do you think you can charge for that? Like no one needs you, bro. They can just do it themselves. That's why a moving company is valuable because they take your heavy ass sofa that you bought from Ikea and they carry it up the stairs, seven floors, and they place it in your living room without breaking a sweat while smoking a cigarette. They do hard stuff. That's why the moving companies get paid. And that's the same thing when you run a business, like a lead generation agent business. You get paid because you solve hard problems that no one else can solve. So you need to get better at doing that. That's how you make peace, bro. So yeah, that's just something that I want you to keep in mind. For example, in agentvelocity.io, we have like 250 B2B lead generation agency owners. There's people doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000, even hundred thousand dollars a month. And not all of them do the same thing. Like they have the same framework. They start working with us. We give them the framework. We show and this is how we do the emails, this is how we pick your niche via sales, boom, boom, boom. And then based on their own experiences and niches and like the opportunities that they see on the market, they adapt their protocol. Some people hire SDRs to do warm calling. Some people custom hard code lead scraping tools. Some people write via sales. Some people do lead magnet funnels. Some people run Facebook ad retargeting for the cold email campaigns. Like you can't look at the business model, any business model through this like strict scope that has like all of these rules. Like this guy on the internet said that I need to charge like this and I need to have this in my contract. I need to like, bro, it's your business. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to get off my chest. If you're looking to build a legion agency and scale it to $10,000 a month in the next few months, go check out angelvelocity.io or leadjanket.io. That's free, super sick stuff. Work with us. We'll help you make a lot of money doing this stuff. We'll actually make you an expert level growth marketer who has skills that ensure that you will never go broke. No matter where does the economy go and what happens in the world, like you will always make money. Also, if you enjoyed, drop me a like and drop me a subscribe. Take care, boo. Happy Christmas or something.